Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire out here at the crack of 10 a.m. <laughs> I just didn't, uh, it's hard to get up and go real early when it's cold. I mean, last night, uh, get ready for this, we actually, it actually was a freeze warning last night, right down here where I live, below Savannah. But it's okay, because you know what crappie like? When you see people out deer hunting, that's when you should go crappie fishing. Okay, they like that cold weather. They like that cold water. It's 52 degrees out here this morning. That's a good temperature. I'm surprised it's that cold. Now that's surface temperature. That's not down in the water. But uh, I went the other day, a couple days ago. I caught about seven or eight fish, something like that. I, I didn't make a video. I wasn't real satisfied with it. And there, were, uh, there was a, one tragedy that occurred. I dropped my tackle box and I have not straightened it out. So my tackle box is just full of just crap. I mean, it is horrible. I don't, when I open it up, it's probably just gonna crush me. But anyway, let's catch some fish, man. Let's catch some crappie and enjoy this nice cold weather because I hope the fish are enjoying it. So let's see. Okay, feels like something decent. is hey bass maybe yeah it's a bass nice little bass to start the day off in good shape Pretty? Nice guy. He's a nice guy. I like him. Hadn't had a bite yet for my crappie. Don't know what that's about. Let's try a different color. This one's a crappie. Not a bad one. Not bad. I've been changing colors around here trying to figure out what color they want. That one was on an orange, bright orange and chartreuse. Bobby Garland. First time I threw it, so maybe either I just do it in the right place or maybe I've figured something out. I know one thing, I didn't get any bites on any of my other colors. Oh, hoo, hoo, this may be the color, guys. They figured it out. I got an incoming tide, by the way. In case you're curious. The water is always real pretty clear here. I mean, it's, it's dark, but it's clear. Move locations, my other spot of this. So, what's much happening? Gotta find some fish, guys, that wanna eat. That's what I gotta do. It's the spot where me and Paul caught a bunch of fish the other day when we went. want it but it's not getting a ton of bites but when they do hit it like they're really hitting it hard bites and stuff but the wind was blowing so much like right now I can kind of even with the current kind of sit here where I need to be for the most part I mean I'm still 
still moving. So, but yeah, I can fish. The other day, I just couldn't fish. It was so windy. I just moved, moved, and moved. And I'd get bites. I really, I really had a hard time. That's about the same size as that last one. It hit the top hook. Okay. Oh, that's where I dropped it. Looks like a clown threw up in there or something crazy. Ooh. That's not what I'm looking for. I mean, it is what I'm looking for. It's just a tiny version of what I'm Bigger, better, bigger and better A version of that guy. See, like right now, today, there's a eight foot tide out on the salt. So, this would not be a good day in the salt water but I can come up the river and have a good time or the other day the wind was blowing you know I can't get out there in that open water and have a good time trying to fish you know when the wind's blowing like crazy but I can come up here and it was tough here even with the with the wind blowing. I'm gonna try a single jig. It's a little lighter than this. And see if they do better with it. Okay, this is always a spot. It's good for a fish or two. It's had a bite. Let's see if we'll catch one. here the first bite was way out here deep I don't think this is a crappie I don't know oh maybe it is fast are really funny sometimes they won't they uh i mean like i have heavier jigs not one single fish well i take that back one fish has hit the top jig on this double rig um and that's it all the rest of them have hit the bottom one so you would think well i should just throw a single jig but they are hitting this way better than the, just the 16th ounce or the 8th ounce jigs so you know I've got a, a 16th and a 132nd ounce tied on this 
So maybe that's what they want is that that weight just happens to be the right weight. It makes it float the right way or whatever. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm gonna keep using it because catching fish on it. It's not gonna change. Why I would do that? There's a little guys right here today. Usually I catch pretty good fish right here. Kind of weird situations going on. But it's okay. But good looking. And that's half the battle, isn't it? May not be all that smart. Have a lot of talent, but if you're good looking, it can help you out. I mean if you're really good looking, you know, you could comment and just tell me if, if that's true or not. Just let us know. Just say hey. Chris, I'm really good looking, and in my life, it's really helped me out a lot. Uh, not a bad one. Now this time I did switch to my 1 because I didn't want to retie that double jig. And it paid off. So maybe I'll be able to stick with this. I hope. I like the double jig, the double rig, but every time you get hung, instead of losing one jig, you lose two. That one. Ooh, feels good. hole in his lip, his upper lip. See, there's that brush guard. A little bitty brush guard on there. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Got that guy. Got a little one. Go up here and sit down and relax. Hi. Man, that would knock the fire out of it now. I mean, he killed it. By far the hardest hit I've had all day. My line just jumped. He's not the biggest fish. But he hit the hardest, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys. This little feller. <laughs> it's a little, little potato chip there, ain't he? You get the upper uh, jig too, of all things. good <laughs> better it don't take much to be better than last two worked again worked again we fooled them again guys we keep fooling these guys we're outsmarting them 
are outsmarting them today. Got him this time. On the top. This time I got it. Man, that was an adventure, wasn't it? I mean, I don't know how I missed them other two. That's another good one. Not getting them stuck good. This little pole don't have enough backbone, I guess. That's fun. It's fun. Sit ahead again. Stuck that one with no problem. Guys, it is 2.30. Been fishing about four and a half hours. I think it's time to call it a day. This current's picking up really, really hot right now. So, might as well go to the house. I caught a few fish. Uh, that last little spell, I hate that I missed the fish that I missed right there because those were some good fish. But, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, thanks guys for watching. And we'll talk to you and see you later.